Hi everyone, Katie Wilson here. Wanted to do another video for you today so that you can learn how to set up and systemize your deal packaging business so that you can be free. Today, we're gonna to talk about Facebook Messenger and how we automate our marketing in Facebook Messenger. So basically what this is, is I use Facebook as a targeting channel for my marketing. So basically I go to Facebook Marketplace, this is a separate video, and I target uh, vendors and landlords through adverts for properties for sale and for rent. And then what happens is I get loads and influxes of uh, messages into my Facebook Messenger. And if I'm perfectly honest, I don't get on with Facebook Messenger. It's very hard to keep up with personal messages versus business messages, et cetera, et cetera. So what I've done is I've systemized it so that um, I've got software now that pulls that information. Again, we're gonna use Zapier into my CRM system so that all of my responses and inquiries are in one place. So you do need to have a Facebook business page for this to work. So I've got my Facebook page here. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a zap so that it basically feeds into Podio. Now, a separate video I've done, I've shown you how to set up Podio to this point. Now, what I'm gonna do today is create a new workspace for Facebook inquiries. Just to keep it all separate and then it's easier to manage. Now, if you remember, this is a bit of a refresher. Don't worry about this. This is if you've got colleagues and you want to add different people. So we're gonna, we've, we've created like an Excel, we've opened Excel effectively. This is how I describe it to people. We're gonna add an app, which is basically your Excel spreadsheet. So we're gonna do Facebook messages. I'll just call it same. You can you can get all creative with it at a later date, but we're just going to put the basics in. And now, what it's going to ask me to do seems to be running very slow. Um, is it's going to ask me to set up um, a form? You know, so what are my columns? What information do I want? So um, I'm going to keep this really simple. So we'll go with name. Oh, excuse me. Bear with me. It's a bit sensitive. This name and message. Okay, we can get as creative as we want to at a later date. So that is the app set up. Um, I'm not quite sure what Zapier is going to ask for, um, but let's, let's um, because I've set up all brand new accounts, so I can show you this from scratch. So I've got my Facebook account, I've got a load of messages, um, which could in fact be leads. So I'm gonna to go to Zapier, I've already got an account, and I'm gonna make a Zap. So all it's gonna ask me to do is if we go to Facebook, and we go to Facebook Messenger, um, and then it's trigger, choose trigger event. So basically when a new message is sent to the page, it will then put it in my CRM system. So sign into Facebook Messenger, it's gonna make me check, uh, and give authorization for it to be a third party app. So I'm just going to press authorize when that comes up. So now it's it's connected to my Facebook business page. So if I press continue, choose value. So I'm going to go with Katie Wilson because uh, that's my latest business page. So that's it, testing the trigger. So that's connected that side of things. Now what we need to do is make sure that it puts it into Podio. So if we then go to Podio, it's already there. We're going to create a new item. So any new messages, creating a new item in Podio. Select my Podio account. Um, I'm not quite sure which account it is. I need to rename these really, that would be handy. But I'll just click one and see how we get on. Don't seem to work that one, does it? Oh, there we go. Let's see. We'll soon find out if it's connected to the right one. Katie Wilson property. Ah, so no, it's not. Um, bear with me. I'm just going to go back. Okay.
I'm just going to connect my uh, Podio template account that I've set this Podio account up so that um, I can help with the videos for all the dummy information. But what I don't want to do is for it to affect my live um, account that I actually use on a day to day basis. So it seems to do it automatically. And I'm not sure why. Okay, so um, let's see what happens there. So let's try Podio, th Podio 3, add a new account. And now I've got Podio 4, let's see what happens here. Fearful it's going to give me the same information again. Yeah. Oh, Facebook inquiries. Sorry, right, we're there. So, um, Facebook inquiries, as I've just set up, because you watched me do it. Application Facebook messages. Um, so, name will be send us full name. Message will be message so there you go and press that test and continue done so that's it now what has happened is i will go to the facebook marketplace um separate video basically and target landlords and vendors through facebook marketplace send them a message to ask if their property is available they then come back to me and that means I have to go into Facebook Messenger and check and I haven't got the time, I don't want to, I have no inclination to do that. So I've now set up a zap, that's what we've just done, which will pull all of that information into my Podio. So my phone basically pings and I know I've got an inquiry in. So that's how you set up Facebook Messenger. So there is a separate video on how to set up Podio if you're not sure. Um, there is also a separate video on direct mail and then in my next video, I will help you with Gumtree. Hope that's been helpful, guys. Catch you soon.